In the city of Dnipropetrovsk, Ukraine's security service has conducted searches of the offices of the Ukrainian Union of Patriots Party, otherwise known as UKROP. The political force is backed by billionaire tycoon Ihor Kolomoisky, the city's former governor, who was forced to resign in May by Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. These latest arrests have sparked fears of another round of oligarchy infighting. Ukrop's leader, Hennady Korbin, has been detained. The office of the Kolomoisky-backed charitable organization, the Fund for the Defense of the Country, has also been searched, as have the homes of a number of its workers and volunteers. Searches began early in the morning. Boris Filatov is a Ukrainian MP and a member of Ukrop's political council. He is due to run in a second round runoff vote for the mayor's office in Dnipropetrovsk later this month. Filatov described the scene as Corbyn was taken away. Security officers came up. They forced open the doors. Corbyn was standing here by the entrance. They grabbed him and took him away without any explanation and without presenting any kind of document. Lawyers for Corbyn have called the detention of their client a kidnapping and say the reasons behind his being taken away have yet to be properly explained. Until now, we still don't know where the decision came from or on the authority of which court. We don't know according to which facts the security service based the decision to conduct an investigation. Corbyn's parents' home was also searched, as was Filatov's office and Ukrop's offices in Ukrainian capital Kiev. Filatov has questioned the motivation of the investigations and says he believes it's linked to results in last week's local elections. It's political persecution. There's no other justification for it. We're being punished for Ukrop's good result at the local elections. We got into 18 councils. I think Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko is sending us a signal. Although what kind exactly, for the moment, I don't understand. It's crazy. At the Fund for the Defense of the Country, workers have expressed their anger at the search of their premises. The organization has been providing medical and financial aid to the Ukrainian military as it continues to fight Russian-backed militants in East Ukraine. The whole search and seizure of documents was done without us being present. This is how our government thanks us for all that we've done. Corbyn, meanwhile, has been brought to the Ukrainian capital Kiev, where he is being held by police. Law enforcement officials deny there is any political motivation behind his detention or the investigation into Ukrop. Corbyn has been officially detained. He's being held, but he is not a suspect. In the interest of the investigation, we won't reveal his location, but we confirm that he is with the security services. The bloc of Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko has not officially commented on the detention of Corbyn and says it will not do so while investigations continue. A number of other MPs, meanwhile, have accused the government of selective justice. Ukrop, now deprived of its leader, says it is no coincidence that the search of its offices has come just two weeks before its candidate, Boris Filatov, is due to run in the second round runoff vote for the Dnipropetrovsk mayor's office.